who's ready to break the seal with me. <laughs> Are you ready to unbox with Jessica Posh? We're gonna unbox my Fab Fit Fun Box. I just love how they design the insides of the box so that it's like such a fun experience from start to finish. Okay, so first and foremost, always on the top, you're going to have your little FabFitFun like magazine. And in here, it's gonna tell you all about the things that you just received in your box. And then, well, okay. So very first thing out of the box is this Mark and Graham throw. I was able to customize my box and I was able to choose the darker colored throw. I will tell you, like I told you in my Pop Sugar video, I have dogs and so throws are going to get a little scary. So for my next item, I had to choose between this cute little set or a Moroccan hair mask. I am so set on products, it's not even funny. So of course I chose this cute little set. I'm so stoked, let me put this on for you. For the record, this is faux fur. It's so toasty. All right, you guys, I was not super stoked about this set at all. Like I just picked it um, because I didn't need a hair mask, you know? So I figured I would probably end up regifting these. I am a regifter, sorry, not sorry. But only to people that I know are gonna super love the item that I, for whatever reason, didn't super love. Anyway, how cute is this set? I am like obsessed, it's my new favorite set. Okay, and then the next item, I had the choice between the jewelry portfolio, the dry shampoo, or the necklace, and every single time I'm going to choose the dry shampoo. This dry shampoo particularly piqued my interest because it retails for $44, and I happen to know the brand Oribe, or Oribe, is it Oribe or Oribe? Either way, it's a really fantastic brand, and I have some other hair products by them that I freaking love, so it was a simple choice. It was also a simple choice because you're able to do add-ons, and so I was able to add on the jewelry portfolio, which I did not choose, as an extra, and I think I only paid 15 or $19. I will double check and put it on the screen, but 15 or $19 just to add on this cute little jewelry portfolio so I'm super stoked to travel because I love how it's got the little felt in between and a zippered pocket here I think that will totally come in handy okay next item and the irony here is just too much I literally just filmed a video on how to use a jade roller and launched a giveaway for you guys to earn a jade or win a jade roller whatever you have to earn it by entering whatever I forgot there was a freaking jade roller coming in my Fat Fit Fun box. I literally made this choice. I made this choice and I forgot it was coming. Anyway, make sure that you watch my video on how to use a jade roller and order this Fat Fit Fun box because you get a jade roller. Oh, and by the way, this jade roller retails for $45, but I will tell you, I've seen them in TJ Maxx for like $12.99, $16.99, and I've seen them on Amazon for $19.99. So, don't run out and spend $44 on your jade roller. Okay, and my next choice, I chose the coasters because I really didn't want another piece of exercise thing, equipment type thing, the sliders, you know, to just sit in my little home gym that I don't exactly go to very often. And I also don't need another lipstick. So coasters, which I equally don't need, is what I chose. These will probably get regifted. From Chic and Tonic, these are crafted from solid fur hardwood and they're coasters. I was just talking about these on my Instagram story, you guys. I'm from upstate New York. I could definitely craft these myself, so not that impressed, but you know, retail is $18. I'll make you a set for 15. <laughs> my very last choice was between the body cream and the essential oils. I will choose the essential oils every time, especially when it's eucalyptus and sweet orange, two of my favorite scents ever. These will definitely be going into my diffuser. And technically these retail for $31. In case you are keeping track, this box is worth over $300 in retail value, which is just crazy to me, considering I paid $40, $39.99. The last three items are all beauty items. These are some under eye sheet masks, which you can never have enough of. And under eye sheet masks, depuffing like whoa. P.S. If you want the posh version, they're called cheat sheets. 
can get them at jessicaposh.com. I have to make a shameless plug sometimes. The next item is an Ahava moisturizing, nope, just joking, hydration cream mask. This is definitely gonna go to my mom because she has super dry skin. And Ahava is a really nice brand. It's typically very expensive. Yes, this cream mask retails for $33. I feel like I got one of these in a box before. This is from Thrive Cosmetics and it's the Brilliant Eye Brightener Highlighting Stick. I have one in my makeup bag, so I feel like it must have come in a box. I freaking love it and I'm so stoked to have another one. I use it right on the inner um, water well of my eye and then in the inner corners and it really helps your eyes to just really pop. Um, whenever you're doing makeup. So super stoked to get one. And this retails for $24. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <sighs> I am not a singer. I'll see you guys in my next video.